Hello, and welcome you back. This is the part two of the previous video we just had. Um, the final exam. Thank you for returning. Yes, you will agree with me. That more than enough prayers are being said on behalf of Ruth Matthew, her child baby testimony, and all who are standing with her and these fake court proceedings. Prayers have been said round the world. Let me say here that I see God at work. Our Heavenly Father is working behind the scenes. He may not present His work the way we want it, but He definitely has a hand in all that are manifesting before our very eyes. I want to say thank God for that. Yes, that fire was divine. We just might be at the end of that kangaroo proceedings. Because at the end of the day, there was no business taking dragging Ruth Matthew to court over those nonsensical charges. Even children playing on the school playground would not put such nonsense as part of the things that they would be playing with. Thank God for that fire. You know, a prophet has ignited enough attention because trust me, going after those compromise, calling calling out those compromised commissioners, and the other the latest one, the government seat aspirant. There's so much pressure right now on certain people. So this could be. The answer to all the prophets we've been doing and all of us have been clamoring for. I can bet my life that those commissioners and probably that governor's chief aspirant, they've been called to order by their handlers, by their superiors, who have been asking them questions that they have no answers, no sensible answers to present as to why their names are being dragged in this case. If they could have told them to find ways to, to get themselves off of it, this is the beginning. Um, I just hope that things begin to go in the favor of Ruth Matthew and that stupid case gets thrown out of the court. Whoever the judge is, I'm sure, that have, has entertained this complete phony case in his or her court may also have been searching for a way to squash the case because whether they've taken brown envelopes or not, a sensible judge would long ago have just brought this case to an end because there was there was no case in the first place. But I'm sure they'll be thanking God right now for that court, court fire. Just like we're grateful to God. So, for, for in order to not come out to explain all those people, maybe the commissioner, um, Jeremiah's camp, uh, they, for them not to come out to explain the real fact of the case being total waste of time and of them trying to please a certain billionaire, Jeremiah, they went for the popular attraction. Use a fire to erase everything. That seems to be common way of sorting problems in Nigeria. As I've heard mm -hmm. during this last, this current regime, how fire have been used perfectly to, to, to end or conceal and destroy things that nobody wants to see the light of day. So yeah, the court papers, everything, burning them was the best option for these guys. So if they don't have the papers, then what's the point of carrying on with the case? However, guys, as long as Ruth Matthews' lawyers have the same documents that were burned in that court 
and likewise Jeremiah's lawyers. The papers are still intact and the court case must go on, sadly. So in today's world, when everything tends to be backed up in the cloud somehow, it would be only in a court from the old stone age that would risk not having backed up their documents in one way or another. So I'm just ending this session by saying that I'm grateful to God that fire came. We might just be at the very end, the last leg of the relay in this, these court proceedings. So let's see what happens. If they have burnt the papers, they might just be coming to reach agreement with Ruth Matthews' lawyers on how they can completely bring an end to this nonsense. And let's go to the real case that needed to be in court. Where is baby testimony? What happened to that poor child? That's where we're going to go. Instead of this waste of time, they've tried everything, but thank God that Ruth Matthew stood. She held her own. God helped her and everybody who was standing with her to stand and wait. And here we are today. So we might just be at the end of that, those cases and we will be on the start of the real case, getting to court eventually and seeing, and in a proper court, not in that same place. They were, the case would go somewhere else where a real judge real human beings who have love for the truth and compassion for humanity, for the downtrodden, for the poor, would handle the case and look, investigate, and explore all possible factions, versions, whatever needed to be to find out what happened baby testimony whether it was Ruth Matthew whether it was Jeremiah or whether it was anyone let us get to the bottom may that child come home safely in the end God bless you